Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the What's good, Ravens fam? So let's just get straight to it. Before I do that, if you have any comments, put them in the questions so they can be on questions, comments, questions from comments. You see, I messed it up. And this video obviously you can see by the subtitle they're back at it again i don't know why mike florio chris sims are back at it again and oh and someone put in the comments before i start this video someone put in the comments i like florio but this is why people call him a hypocrite he's the same person that says otas are voluntary voluntary and players shouldn't be forced to go to them now i watched a little bit of this video i cut it off a little bit because they were talking too much for me but lamar jackson missed day one of otas i can understand if he missed three four days the man said himself i will be there soon we do not know what is on his schedule and they did mention that but right after they mentioned it, they kept saying he should have been there. You don't know what's going on in this man's world. Neither do I. But this, let me, here we go. This is the video. That leads us to our next topic. We discussed this yesterday, and there's going to be people out there Pushing back. Ravens fans. Misguided Ravens fans. Hey, Ravens fans, I'm talking to you here. Give me a moment, Chris. I just want to have a conversation with our friends out there who root for the Baltimore Ravens. You want your team to be successful, I would assume. You want it to win as many games as it can. You want it to fulfill the potential that it has. You would like another Super Bowl championship. You've got two. It's been a while since the last one. Well, well. One way to get there is to make sure that your guys are fully prepared for the season to come, and it's not going to be an easy season. There's a lot of great teams in the AFC, several great teams in the AFC North. Got to be ready to compete, and all those other quarterbacks are there. Even Aaron Rodgers is there. Lamar Jackson is not there. And what's going to happen, and now I'm pivoting back to talking to you, Chris, hmm. The blind circling of the wagons. How dare you call out our guy? How dare you call out our guy for not being here for the first day of OTAs? How dare you attack him for doing something that that will make it harder for the team to win games? See, that's when they break their own brains, when they realize their defensive Lamar Jackson for not being present for the start of OTAs has a dotted line back to their team not being as good as it can be. And that's why we say what we say. If you're going to pay somebody $50 million plus, I don't know where the line is, Chris, between paying a guy not enough for him to volunteer to be there at optional off-season workouts and paying him enough that he should be. I'll say $50 million is on the you-should-be-there side of the line. Yeah. $52 million per year is on the you-should-be-there side of the line. Wanting to be great, wanting... Okay, so we seen that part. Fifty-two million, yes, 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 all of that. Okay, but we want our team to win because the man will miss twenty-four hours of OTA, forty-eight hours of OTA, or he he be there eight eight hours like a regular job, ten hours like ten-hour jobs. So he missed ten hours, maybe twenty hours, maybe sixteen hours. They tripping off that. And then later in the video, talking about the receivers meeting with, the, you know, uh, Pat Mahomes flying his receivers to Texas to work out with him. See, the thing about Lamar, from what I've noticed, a lot of the receivers live out there in Florida. So they really don't have to fly. They drive. And then also, he's been out there. He's flew to, I believe, Arizona. Worked out with Mark Andrews, Rashad Bateman in the past, and other receivers that came out there to work out with him. But I digress. Let's continue the video. 
wanting to win championships, wanting to fulfill your potential and promise as a player in a team with a new offense, a new offense, an offense that's going to unlock the passing game, a new offense that features multiple new receivers, a new offense that will be better implemented for week one if you're there. So I don't get it. They reportedly expect him to be there later this week. Why isn't he there day one? He got his contract. He won. He got $52 million a year. His only focus at this point should be being at practice, learning the offense, getting comfortable with new teammates, having them get comfortable with him, and laying the pre-foundation of the foundation they're going to lay during training camp, Chris. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the same conversation we're having here. Again, it, it's the first day of OTAs. Is it like? Okay, just before I continue this video, what just popped in my head, y'all remember the presser when Lamar said he was already studying the playbook? He already had the iPad. Who says, say Flowers is out there in Florida. Rashad Baby possibly could be could have been out there. We know Aguilar was out there. Who said they already wasn't running the routes of those plays from just, but they're tripping off of one freaking day let's continue like oh my gosh a necessity in the team and everything's gonna go downhill that lamar jackson's not there no i get it but you know i also just go but why not be there why give people like myself and mike florio and stephen a smith the chance to even talk about this and go why aren't you there after you know winning and getting a 50 million dollar contract there, we all know they're going to talk about Lamar no matter what. He's there day one. He make a couple of bad passes. They're going to talk about it. We know this. That's that's what I don't get. And then, you know, yeah, of course, you know, the way the season ended on injury, you know, or, or injured. So, like, I just thought, yeah, he'd be there chomping at the bit, excited. Now, listen, maybe he had something personal and stuff like that happens, too. Sometimes you got things scheduled. Right. And and they don't tell you the OTA schedule maybe until a few weeks ago. And sometimes that stuff happens. I don't know. But yes, I mean, again, it's the same thing. The formula is pretty proven. The guys that are there, the quarterbacks that are there, they usually do the best. And, you know, hopefully Lamar's there for the rest of these. I'd like to see that for all the reasons you said. It's Odell. It's rookie receiver. It's basically a rookie receiver. And Rashad Bateman, who's been hurt a lot over the last few years. It's the new OC. It's all of that. And they're close. Like you said, I mean, they're close. We're talking about a team that I think we look at and go, okay, yeah, it's not the Bengals or the Chiefs, but if you start to name the next teams that could go to the Super Bowl, the Ravens are that team. And, you know, why not get that work? I'm just, I don't, I don't understand why give us the chance to talk about it and make it a thing here. That That's the thing that probably I, I wonder more than anything. Well, and then look, I, th this is not, Anything we ever say about Lamar is not anti-Lamar. No, to, it's actually pro-Lamar. Not in a passive-aggressive way either. This isn't like, oh, we're just trying to help you and we're really trying to be jerks about it. These are comments and opinions that we have that are aimed at helping him get the most out of his God-given abilities. He's won an MVP. He clearly wants to win a championship. Patrick Mahomes will be there for every OTA. It's not even a conversation. The question with Mahomes is how many days of his downtime is he going to spend throwing to receivers in Texas and how much of his personal. That is my point. Exactly. So they didn't see Lamar throwing to his wide receivers in Florida. Like, Easy they um they just, uh, uh, we're, we're we're not trying we're we're not trying to down him, no 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 we're not, even though he's throwing to his receivers in Florida, he missed like I say eight sixteen hour ten hour twenty hour, hey, we don't even we we don't even know if he's he could possibly could be in Baltimore just throwing to him before he gets to OTA so we don't know. But we do know he was throwing to him in Florida. We know that. So this is just, I saw that. And I was like, really? Really? They always come up and they, they say, we're, we're not, no, no, no. We're not trying to, we're not trying to bash Lamar. And then they bash Lamar. 
bringing up Stephen A. Smith, talking about him not being the first day. The first freaking day. You don't know. I will wait, wait till at least like maybe two, three days, if that. That just, that just surprised me. That just right there, that just surprised me. If my homes could skip an OTA, would, would they talk about that? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Read, I'm reading the comments. Even my homes missed last year's day six of OTAs to play golf. Go, the person said Google told me in a second, which shows one, the media does not want to portray Lamar as a good guy. It is 100% true. And I'm making this video on Tuesday. And he showed up today. And they uploaded this four hours ago. And he showed up today. If Even if they did this video yesterday. They should have uploaded it yesterday. On day one. But he showed up today. I believe I saw him throwing a past Tuesday flowers. I believe. But. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So. What, what do y'all think? Do, do, what do y'all think? Because things just hate. But anyway, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.